In this video, we're going to put to practice a lot of the things we've been learning over the uh, course of this entire video training session. And we're going to actually jump into now pure DOM JavaScript programming. There are two things I want to point out in this particular video. First of all, we're going to be working once again within the document object here. And in the object, the document object, there are two things I want to look at, something called the get element by id function very important function when we say that again the get element by id function and we're going to look at a very important property called inner html with these two very important tools we will be able to create a javascript toggle menu very easily okay i've popped open into some code here that I've already written for us. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk you through this code so you understand what's going on. Specifically, this is going to be the new one for you guys, the insert text function here. But before I do that, let's take a look at the actual page. So it's a pretty simple page, nothing to get too excited about. But if you look over here, I got this main menu. I click on it, you see this menu pop open. Hairspray, shoes, flower, socks, you know, two S's there. This menu may look familiar to you because we built that in a previous video using a function. It may have been called list products. I don't know if we called it then, but I'm sure you're familiar with this code. I'm going to walk you through this code and so that you're reminded of it just in case you forgot. And we'll work our way down. First of all, at the top here, we have just a basic CSS de declarations here. I changed the uh, font family to Verdana because, you know, I just prefer that font to the default font, the Arial. I created two IDs here, menu title, menu items. Let's scroll down here. And you see menu title and we see menu items. Notice how menu items is just an empty paragraph. I left it empty so that we can use DOM scripting methods to populate this with some uh, with some text, our list that we saw before. Anyhow, let's go back up here. So after our CSS, let's drop down to the JavaScript here. And let's look at the first function. So our first function is called list underscore products. Now, I have a comment here. Let's pretend we got these values from a database. We could do that. We could have grabbed this from a database using some, well, I'm not going to get into the details about that because this is just a basics JavaScript course, but pretend that you could have done that. But anyway, so we've created our new array. We've populated our array and then we created a variable and we use this variable to basically populate it with stuff that we've held in our array here. So we've seen this code before. The only thing I want to point out is that we've included a dash so that a dash appears in front of each item from the array. And we've also included a break so that after one item is displayed, we get a break, then the next item, and so on. What you want to take away from this is that by the end of this function, we return the text variable, which is basically all this stuff combined in here. So we get that list. Well, let me just preview that again. We just get this list here, right? So that's all we're doing with this function. We're returning all that text formatted. Later on, I'll show you how we could create links out of this so we can have a menu that actually is clickable via HTML links. Anyhow, just understand we're returning text now, which is this variable. So now let's go down into the next function. So. To create a toggle menu, we have to track whether something is off or on, whether the menu is off or on. This probably doesn't make too much sense to you now, but just understand when you're creating a menu that's toggling, you know, what I mean by toggle, I say off, on, off, on, off, on. When you're toggling a menu like that, you have to keep track of whether the, the menu is open or closed. I could have called this open or closed, but I decided to just call off, on. So anyway. So let's just take a look at the code, and I think uh, I think you understand. So we have this function called insert text. 
first thing I do is I have a big if statement here, right? I get the if and I have the else. So I say if the variable on off, right? We declared it here. If the variable on off is equal to off, then we do this. Otherwise, if it's not equal to off, if it's equal to on, then we're going to do this. Before I get into this, just remember that after we've completed all this stuff, you notice how I declared a variable on here. So if it's off, once I've done my business, I say, okay, turn it on. So next time we come around, it will be on, so this will fire here. So if we drop down here, if it is on, this all gets done, and then we set it back to off again. So next time somebody clicks, it will be off again, so this part will get fired off. I hope that makes sense. This is how, this is the basic strategy, rather, of how you create something, a toggle button, an on-off switch, if you will. You create your variable here, outside the function, right? And that becomes a global variable. We've looked at that in a previous video. And then we, uh, we do our business. We check to see if it's on or off, rather. We do our business, and then we switch it in the other direction. So if it was off, we turn it on. And in this case, it would be on, on the else. And that means we're going to turn it off. I hope that makes sense. In part two of this video, we're going to get into the heart of this, and that's the get element by ID function and the inner HTML property. These two tools, if you will, are very, very important in JavaScript DOM scripting and allows us to make all those changes to the pages dynamically.